crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, and Maisie. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hey guys, so I'm here to show you my haul. Um, this haul is from Thursday when I went to Von Mills Mall with Marilyn. And as you can see, I shopped at Babies R Us and H&M. Um, I honestly didn't think I was going to buy anything this trip because... For a good chunk of the day, I wasn't finding anything that I was really keen on that I was like, oh my god, I love this, I have to have it. But when we got to Babies R Us, that's pretty much where I found most of the stuff that I really liked or loved. And then there was a couple of things that I fell in love with at H&M. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to start with what I got at H&M. So um, the first thing I grabbed was these little pack of socks. And I pretty much grabbed them because I realized that I didn't really have these colors in socks for the boys. And there's been times where I've put outfits on them where I wished I had these colored socks. So it's a three pack and there's three different shades of blue. It's like a light blue, sort of like a medium blue, and then a navy blue. And then I also got this pair that's like a regular kind of cream color sock. Then you have a light oatmeal color and sort of a light brown color. So those will come in handy for sure. And they are the size zero socks, but they look like they're probably big enough to fit Landon and Joshua. Then I decided to get some things for Grace for the summer and I got this two pack of shirts, t-shirts, short sleeves. One, whoops, sorry, one is a light pink and it has Thumper the Rabbit on it. Yeah, there's Thumper with some flowers and there's a purple bird and a kind of greenish bird in the sky. I just couldn't resist Thumper. I've always loved Thumper. And when I was a baby, I think I may have told you guys this before, but if you're new, when I was a baby, my nickname was Thumper because I was born with clubbed foot. And so I had to wear a cast on my foot for quite a while when I was a baby. And that was to help straighten out my club foot. So I... Apparently, when I was a baby and I had to wear this cast, I would, when I was sitting down or laying down, I would kick my foot that had the cast on it. And it, of course, would make a thumping sound. And so I got the name Thumper. <laughs> um, then there's this other... Oh, and also I just noticed that these t-shirts have a little snap on the left shoulder. Now the other shirt from in the set is a short sleeve shirt as well and it's a floral print. So it's got greens and yellows and pinks and purples. Very pretty. And then I also got her this set and I didn't get a chance, I actually didn't think to put this on her for Easter but I always wash my clothes before putting them on the babies and I hadn't had a chance to do that so it wouldn't have worked out anyway but um bunnies can be worn anytime this is very spring like so once we start getting that warmer weather I can put this on her because it's a short sleeve white shirt with light pink tiny light pink polka dots very very tiny and it has two bunnies two bunnies. One bunny is has um, a daisy in his mouth and the other bunny is looking at him and I just thought it was really cute and it's one of those kind of longer flare type shirts and then to go with it it comes with these light pink 
pants that have little white daisies all over it. So I just thought that would look really, really cute on her. So now I'm going to start to pull out my Babies Are Us haul. There's a couple things though that I can't show because they are a gift for someone. So I gotta be careful. Um, let's see here. Okay. So we have, I think I can show you, yeah, these ones. Um, so when we first went into Babies Are Us, I was looking around and Towards the end of our visit in Babies R Us, I found these. And you probably saw them in my video. And so I did finally decide on the pants now. So what I got was, I thought these pants were very unique. They're a really nice, light, soft material for spring, summer, fall. And this is a white pair of pants that has, it almost looks like um, it's embossed with uh, flower prints. And I got this one in Maisie size. And I wanted to get, I, I almost had, I almost got her a blue pair as well. But I know she's got jeans that could probably work. So I didn't do that. But I did get the same kind of pants in a light blue color. It's kind of like a peri winkle color. And I also forgot each of these pairs of pants in the lower corner of the leg, like at the bottom. They have two little buttons. One is like a flower shaped button and one is a heart. And so this one I got in size zero to three months because I don't think they had anything smaller than zero to three months. And I know that the zero to three is probably too small for Maisie, but it should be nice on some of my other babies. I'll, I'm going to leave the tags on and try it because if it ends up that it doesn't really fit any of the babies, I'll just return it. Um, then I decided to get this beautiful summer romper. It's got like a darker pink around the collar and it is a one piece. So it snaps at the bottom like a onesie and that part is the same color pink as the color. And then the rest of it is a light pink, but it has a mixture of light pink and dark pink birds all over it with little uh, yellow and white flowers. The bottom has a nice ruffle and it also has a little bit of tulle coming out of the ruffle to give it an effect of a crinoline under it, but there actually isn't one and it's sleeveless. So I, um, I decided not to get it in Maisie's size because really she has a ton of clothes. I mean, that girl is so spoiled. And in all honesty, when I really looked at this design, I pictured it more being a young baby design, like baby baby, as opposed to an older baby. So I'm thinking it should fit Haley. And she has full arms, so maybe if I just put a white sleeveless onesie under it, she can get away with it. As for my other babies that wear newborn size, um, I can put a short sleeve onesie under it, and it should look fine. So all of my newborn size babies can share it. Um, so I think that would be really cute for the summer. Then, okay, the other thing that I got at that on that trip was the gift. Then, uh, Marilyn, there were some things that she was considering at Babies R Us, but she wanted to, we wanted to like shop the rest of the mall and then decide. So at the end, we did go back to Babies R Us and that's when I picked up these other items. Okay, this, this one was set aside, so it's a gift. Um, yeah, so we found these items. And so I found this romper that I didn't even see the first time we were in there and I thought it was gorgeous and I got, I definitely got this in zero to three months and I think it runs large enough that it should fit Maisie. I totally could picture her wearing these colors. The top part, it's sleeveless and it has that ruffled sleeve look and it's yellow, bright yellow. And then the bottom half, 
like the rest of it, of the romper, is light blue and white striped and it has yellow and pink flowers all over it. And then on each side towards the bottom, there's little bright yellow pockets. And I just thought the, the yellow and the light blue together looked absolutely gorgeous. Very summery. I love it. Love it, love it. Then I also decided to get, they only had one preemie size left in this plain onesie. So I got this for Zoe. And it's just a light purple onesie and it just has like a scalloped edging around the collar. Just basic onesie. Um, and it was only $4.99 so I couldn't resist that. I just think it would be cute. Like it'll probably go nicely under some outfits or you know I can pair it with some bottoms or whatever. And it's just very soft material. And then I want, I almost got the oatmeal color onesies like this um but they only had one left in zero to three and it kind of had a flaw in it but then when I really thought about it I didn't really know what it would match but these I knew would match um I was trying to pair it up with that sheep short all set that I bought off of Katie but I could not for the life of me remember what size it was so I actually bought this onesie in two sizes because it was cheap enough and I figure if I whichever one I end up keeping I can either return the other one or set it aside as part of a giveaway because it's or I could put it in with like you know when I start making reborns again and stuff to send home with them but it's just again a basic onesie but I got it in a gray color because I thought gray would look nice with the white short alls. So I needed something to put under it and I didn't want to put white on white. So I think this will look really nice. They also had a light blue I was considering, but I think just because of the sheep, I thought gray and white would look nice together. So it's just, a I got it in zero to three months and I also got it in newborn and I'll have to see um, which one I actually need. And so yeah, guys, so that is my haul from our little day out shopping at Vaughn Mills. Um, like I said, I also bought, um, what else? I also bought two Build-A-Bear stands as well. Um, and, but I think that was it. Yeah, that's everything. I didn't buy anything at Bye Bye Baby. Nothing at Gymboree. Nothing at Carter's. Carter's here is getting to be really expensive these days. So, and I don't know. We went into Baby Gap, but there wasn't much there. So, yeah. So, I think I behaved because let me tell you, in the past, when we have gone shopping at Vaughn Mills, I have come home with a massive haul most of the time. So this is pretty good for me. <laughs> I did really well. And like I said, I really picked items that I absolutely loved and was just like, I have to have that. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this haul. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.